I've received um, uh, a number of sessions through the listening centre. Um, what I suffered with was what uh, they call a delayed reaction to a specific event in my career. Um, so I've had uh, a number of different interventions which have now allowed me to carry on my daily life um, and sleep um, and um, get back to the job that I love to do. We do everything from cognitive behavioural therapy to group sessions to one-to-one uh, -one psychological support um, and I've I've been fortunate where I've, had to, I've tried two or three different and actually found the one that worked for me the best. Support from the NHS um, is there. Um, it's quite slow. Um, I'm fortunate where I've got a very good working relationship with my GP, probably because of my job. Um, but my GP was fully supportive. But if I'd purely gone through the GP route, the primary care route, um, the timelines would have been massively extended. Um, and who knows what sort of an effect that could have on you. Um, so the GP was always aware of what was happening with the listening centre and in this case would actually leave the listening centre to do what they do best, so the subject matter experts. Um, so the actual the whole process was speeded up and you were given the care, the attention, the uh, support that you needed a lot quicker. Initially uh, I was quite sceptical, as you would be. Um, but in my case I found that it was something that I could specifically home in at and if I look where I was in say 2015 to where I am now, I'm still here because of the Listening Centre. It's a life changing event for me. Seeking the help earlier, sooner rather than later, is what I would always do because in, in my case I pretended everything was fine. Therefore, it made the treatment a bit extended. It took longer to sort of come to terms with what was happening uh, and essentially get the treatment that I needed. With West Midlands Ambulance Service um, providing this sort of support that I've had from the listening centre um, has been invaluable to myself, particularly as a manager as well. I've got to be seen, or I feel like I've got to be seen to be coping, carrying on. Um, whereas going to an external agency like the listening centre um, essentially I'm talking to someone outside the organisation um, but the service are happy to assist in that recovery process so for me it's a win-win in, in every way. I've referred a number of staff through uh, my own HR department to the listening centre and uh, will continue to do so.